Cheerio broke out of his cage last night. Welcome and welcome back. Um, so the conditions for our meeting today is not as happy as usual. Um, Cheerio's fine. He is fine. I should start off by saying that. But he went on a little bit of an excursion last night. He got out of his cage. That's pretty much all I know. I haven't found where exactly he made it out through, but, um, so I assume that he squeezed through, like, this is how I have his thing done. Can you see that? It's, like, small, but it's, like, double layered, so I guess he could have squeezed through one, separated it, and then squeezed through the other? I don't know, man. I don't know. He was definitely out of his cage, and he's back in now. And so I have to redo his lid. Um, so today I have an exam. So right now I've got stuff piled. <laughs> I've got stuff piled on top of like the high points in his cage so that he can't climb out again. Um, cause I have no clue where he actually did it to, but I assume it was at one of the high points, like that side of the cage. Um, so I'm gonna have to go to a store after my exam and get some hardware cloth that's like a quarter inch and redo his lid which is fine like I only have it zip tied on so it's not gonna be a huge deal but I don't know where I'm gonna find it I live in a small town um so wish me luck um I'll come back with an update um, and I'll also, when I come back with my update, I'll explain kind of how I found him and how I know that he escaped. Bye! It's pitch black out because it's six o'clock now. I didn't get out of my exam until like five. And then I had to go pick up some more zip ties so that I can replace the lid. You need zip ties to replace the lid, obviously. Um. And I'm actually very happy with the hardware mesh chicken wire stuff that I was able to get. Maybe quarter of an inch. It's definitely got way too much of it. It's it's this long and I got five feet of it. I definitely do not need that much, but I forgot to mesh lid before I left the house. And I just, I was like, you know what, for a few extra dollars, I would just so much rather make sure that I have enough so that I can actually get it done tonight so that I don't have to worry about him making another break for it um and so that I don't have to leave everything on top of his cage because like like I said I have a bunch of stuff on top of his cage right now just to make do in the meantime uh so I'm <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and measure out how big the actual top of his cage is which is gonna kill me because I know I have a way too much wire. But that's okay, that's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, you can see myself in my glasses. Wow, that's bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out and I'm gonna figure out how big I have to cut this giant thing. Also, it's really sharp and I've already cut myself on it once. It was a very minor cut, a little tiny puncture wound. I'm gonna end up cutting myself on this a lot, so I'm really gonna take my time. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is do a voiceover while I'm like cutting this up and everything and actually assembling it. And then that'll be when I tell you how I knew that he had made a break for it last night, how I even realized that he was out, I guess. I'll be back in a minute when I start to actually cut. <laughs> okay, so I measured the size of wire that I'm gonna need for his enclosure and I'm absolutely kicking myself right now because the length of like the meshed, meshed part, the length of the meshed part is like 36 inches and the stuff that I bought is like 37, 38 inches. So I could have easily gotten away with just buying like two feet of it and instead I bought five because I didn't think it was going to be wide enough, when in reality it is the perfect width. So I'm kicking myself for that, but it's fine. I only paid like $17 for it, 
I think. Like, it wasn't super expensive, so I'll use it for something else in the future. Not a big deal. Um, but I am kicking myself for it. Um, I measured the lid twice, because you gotta measure twice, build once. Life lessons. Um, and it's 18 inches across, I think, would be, like, a good measurement to make it so that it's, like, tucked under nicely and happy medium between like it breaching nicely and being able to like actually secure it with the twist ties so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna cut 18 inches off and I'm gonna leave the width as it is and I'm saying width for this because it's like that's how long it is I cut off a different length but then the width of that is it's all backwards I'm gonna leave one length of this because it's the length that I need of that and I'm gonna cut it 18 inches wide and hope that it turns out okay. I'm also gonna be eating my supper because I'm starved. Um, I'm gonna overlay this with the story like I said uh, so stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so before I get started with the story, I think that you should all see this video of me not realizing how tightly wound my hardware cloth is, and when I opened it, it attacked me. And it also attacked my laptop. So I had to clean up the mess that that had made because it knocked over a whole bunch of stuff in the process, and I had to refigure how I was going to position myself because it was way bigger than I remembered. Also, shout out to Miss Penny on my bed for being my moral support. So the story of how I realized that Cheerio had escaped was that I was sound asleep. It was like 1 a.m. I went to bed at about 12, so I had only been asleep for about an hour. And I woke up to this feeling like there was something moving on my chest. And for whatever reason, I woke up very groggy, very calmly and not freaking out about the fact that there was something on my chest. I reached my hand up and I felt it and it was really, really fuzzy. And I was like, wow, what the heck is on my chest? So I picked it up and once I had him in my hand, I quickly realized that it was Cheerio on my chest that woke me up. Again, I had been asleep for about an hour, so being woken up, I was super groggy and I had no clue what was going on. So I hopped out of bed, I turned my light on, and I just stood in my bedroom for a good two or three minutes, just looking him in the eyes and trying to rationalize that this was, in fact, my hamster. For whatever reason, super drowsy me just wasn't able to comprehend that me, who is a very deep sleeper and won't wake up for anything, was woken up by a little quarter pound hamster on my chest. Not only that, but I was able to wake up and very calmly rationalize what was happening and not freak out that there was a rodent on my chest. So once I realized that it was, in fact, Cheerio and... I was not in harm's way in any way, shape, or form by this little tiny hamster. I got up and I quickly put him into his travel carrier and I inspected his entire cage. Very groggy, very tired, not really knowing what I was doing, but I spent about 10 minutes looking over his whole cage trying to figure out where he escaped from. As I said earlier, the only place he could have possibly gotten out through was the top mesh that I had used because of the way I did it, because of what was available at the time, he must have squeezed through each layer. So knowing that I couldn't do anything about it at 1am, I put him back into his cage because I didn't want to leave him in his small travel carrier overnight. Since those are his active hours as a crepuscular animal. So I did what I had to do. I put him back into his cage. I took a bunch of books, boxes, basically anything I could find within an arm's reach at the time. And I stacked them all on top of the highest point of the cage as you saw earlier in the video. 
because unless this hamster was able to scale the side of a bin cage with absolutely no grip on it, that was the only spot that he could have possibly gotten out from. So I covered up that third of the lid and after reevaluating my job of securing my poor baby, I went back to bed and I'm glad to say I wasn't woken up by him again that night. On this channel, I like to be really real about what happens and what I do while I'm recording, which is why I've included this clip. Which honestly hurt my face a lot more than my pride. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!